I believe like full brows make you look younger and really thin brows make you look older. That is the fun Filipino word of the day. hi yo. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. And guess what today is? Today is Brows Day. Yes, I promised you I'd show you how I do my brows. So that's what we're gonna do today. As you can see, I have on full makeup, but no brows. So this is proof that my brows are not tattooed at all. I just know how to do them as if they were tattooed. <laughs> So eyebrows, eyebrows I think are a very personal thing. Like women like their eyebrows a certain way. They're, they can be very particular about their brows. I am very particular about my brows. When somebody else does my brows for me, like a makeup artist does my brows for me, it is very rare that I like how they draw on my brows. I just have a particular style that I'm quite particular about. And women, like their brows a particular way I guess and I don't think there's a wrong way to do brows unless like it's really horrible but beauty for eyebrows I believe beauty is in the eye of the beholder whatever brows you want to rock you should just do you if you like the way that I do my brows like if you see on my Instagram then definitely you are gonna benefit from this mini eyebrow makeup tutorial. So the style that I like for my brows is more of a very defined like sophisticated brow. I'm not into the whole like Korean vibe kind of eyebrow that just ain't my thing. I don't like a low brow. I like more of a high brow. I don't like very thin brows. I like more of a full brow but not too thick. I like an angled brow so I'm not a big big fan of the straight brow just really doesn't suit me so my brow style is more like I said sophisticated a little bit on the full side and defined alright so I like them to be sleek I like them to be filled in and I like them to be like full brow game on <laughs> if you're looking for a more natural brow then wow you know um those styles look great as well, but that's just not my thing. So that's not what I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial. What I'm going to be teaching you is the way I do my brows. <laughs> Alright, so before I go into it, I am going to show you guys exactly what I use all the time on my brows. So I use one product for my brows, but in two shades. And I'm going to show you the products that I use. But really, you can achieve the kind of brows that I do with any other brow products, to be honest. But the products that I use are these. So these are Aqua Brow Gels from Makeup Forever, and I use them in two shades. So it's like a liquidy gel kind of texture, and it's completely waterproof. And like I said, it's in a water gel texture. And it comes on really easily. The reason I like it is because it's really easy to draw and it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. So you see my brows, they're kind of cut here. In Filipino, it's called bitin. Can you guys say that with me? Bitin. <laughs> okay, that means like it's cut short and it doesn't have a tail. So I need to draw a tail. And when I used to use pencils, the tail would come off like midday because you know we live in a really humid um, hot country you sweat and sometimes I'd rub my face or I'd just like um, my hair would come across my forehead and the tail of my eyebrow would be gone so I needed something that is definitely a little bit more intense and waterproof so nothing um, happens to it it my the tail of my brows just stays on the whole day without me having to worry about it Okay, why do I use two shades? Why can't I just use one shade? Well, that's just me being really um, particular, okay, and a, a bit of a perfectionist on my eyebrows. So I'll use the lighter shade on the actual hairs, okay, to tint my hairs because you can see like the hairs of my eyebrow is really dark. It's like black, okay, and I want to have um, a softer 
brow. I want to have a softer brow. So if I want to have softer brows that are going to make my face look more feminine and more um, sweet, then the hairs of my brows <laughs> cannot be black. So I have to tint them a light brown color and I do that with the lighter shade. But then, like I said, I have to draw the tail. So the tail I will draw with a darker shade because then it's going to look strange if I, um, if I have a light brown tail. Anyway, you know what? I'm just going to show you enough explaining. But basically, you don't have to own these products to achieve the kind of brow that I'm going to do that I always do. You can use it as you can use two pencils as well. You can use a light brown pencil and a dark brown pencil. The two tools that I use to do my brows is a eyebrow brush like this. Um, and a spoolie or a mascara wand. The mascara wand you can usually like get at Watson's, I guess, but I never buy mine. What I do is I approach random makeup counters and I just get a few. Because <laughs> you know, they're, they're usually just on the makeup counters in the department stores. Just grab a few and take them home. Nobody's gonna like arrest you. So the first thing I do is to brush out my brows using this bully. So I usually just brush them just to groom them a bit before I apply on the product. So I usually I comb up here and then comb out. Really easy, just grooming them before I put on the product. So, so I'm going to be using the darker shade first. And what I do is first I will create the tail. So if you've already got a tail, then good for you. Okay, um, if you need to enhance it, your guideline should be um, somewhere here okay should be somewhere there where you end your tail you don't need to be too particular about that I mean as long as it looks good then you know whatever so I am gonna draw my tail first since I don't have one like I said with a darker product so I've got that on my brush now and I begin right here Okay, right here and I just apply some product there and I'll just go and create the tail. So you see the tail there so you see how i use just like really short soft strokes small small short strokes um softly just blending it out and pointing it toward my ear like that to create the tail of my brow so if you've already got a tail then maybe you just want to enhance it next i'm gonna go in with the lighter brow product to give my brows a brown tint and also just to fill in all of the sparseness. My brows are pretty full, I would say they just lack a tail, but there's still some sparseness like in between the hairs that I usually fill out because like I said, I like a fuller brow. So I usually start above here, connecting it to the tail. And I fill out all of the sparseness. Okay, like the hand that is holding my mirror is shaking like hell. I don't know why. <laughs> Bear with me. But what I'm trying to do as well is even out this area like on top of my brow. Um, the, the hair there is not very even and I like a sort of straight line so I put the product here as well like in small short motions and I blend it out so that it becomes straight here and then I fill this out here and then I fill it out here in the bottom as well so it looks fuller. So if you notice, I don't apply any product to the head of my brow. So this is what I call the head of my brow. 
I don't apply any product there because if I do then then the brow is gonna look like super super strong and really too full and I'm gonna look like Oscar the Grouch so usually I just leave that blank it's a bit hairy there and bushy anyway and then I'll just blend it all together later on but I don't apply any product there Then if you still see some sparseness, usually I'll just go back and fill out again and I use the lighter brown for this purpose because I want to tint my brows a brown, a light brown shade. I don't want to be too dark because I like to fill them in and make them look full but if I use a dark color then it's going to look so strong and you don't want... You don't want super strong eyebrows. You want nicely filled out eyebrows, but not overly strong. And the last thing I do is that I comb them out again with my little spoolie brush, just to blend that in and blend the first color with the second color. Comb up the hair on the head as well. And voila, that is how I do my brow. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and do the second brow first. Come back in a second. Got both my eyebrows on. You guys have probably heard the expression eyebrows are sisters and not twins. I agree. I mean, come on. Personally, I have too many things going on in my life. I am a busy, busy woman. I am not going to stress over my left eyebrow being exactly the same as my right eyebrow. As long as they look generally the same, that's fine. Seriously, don't you have more things to do than worry if like your right eyebrow is exactly the same as your left eyebrow? Yeah, we're all busy women. But anyhow, this is how I do my brows. So as you can see, they're quite full. I believe like full brows make you look younger and really thin brows make you look older. But that being said, I don't like super thick brows as well because that just makes you look like a guy or like Oscar the Grouch. And no worries, you don't have to get these aqua brow gels to achieve this kind of brow look. You can just use two, two eyebrow pencils. But if you do want to get the um, aqua brow gels, I believe you can only get them at Makeup Forever Boutiques. I don't think they sell them in Sephora anymore. And this is what I've been using like for five years now and I just can't change. Yeah, I'm not flexible when it comes to my eyebrows. Neither, have I, neither am I adventurous. <laughs> Anyway, brows are really important to me. I spend the most amount of time on my daily makeup doing my brows. On my daily makeup, because my, my daily makeup is just really like um, a BB cream, my lashes, like mascara on my lashes, and my brows. So uh, yes, the most time is spent on my brows. So that's how I do my brows. If you've got any questions, please leave them in a comment down below. You can contact me on Instagram as well. Here is my handle. Please follow me if you haven't. Please subscribe if you haven't here on YouTube. And please like this video if it helped you. Uh, let me know what you want to see from me. And before I go, today I'm going to introduce a little section on my YouTube channel that I'm going to do every time I film. And I was inspired by Nikki Tutorials, who does a Dutch word of the day for every one of her videos. So for every one of my videos, I'm going to do a fun Filipino word. <laughs> and the fun Filipino word of the day is hayop. Hayop means animal. Okay, like any random animal, animal is a hayop. Like a cat is a hayop, an animal is a hayop. Hayop means animal, but hayop can also mean wow or what the or okay i can't think of anything else but basically like it, you can also use it as an expression to express your wowness <laughs> that is the fun filipino word of the day hi yop thanks guys thanks for watching i hope to see you next time love you Be a job. Be a job.